welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you guys are new here, my name is Crystal. Today I have partnered with Cricut to talk about what is Cricut Design Space and how do you use it. So let's go ahead and dive right in. Cricut Design Space is an exclusive designing software that was made for your Cricut machines. For example, from your Cricut Explorer machines, your Cricut Makers, as well as your Cricut Joy. So you're able to come in here and you can design with your very own images. If you come down to upload an image, you can simply click on upload image and you can upload a variety of files from PNGs to SVGs. You can also come right over here to images and find thousands. As you guys can see, there's 266,000 as of today files that you guys could create your very own projects. Now, if you see any of these with an A, these are for Cricut Access members. To become a Cricut Access member, you're simply going to come to Cricut.com. You can go to Join Cricut Access. And as you guys can see here, you're going to learn a lot more what you're going to get. For example, you have 200,000 plus images, 500 plus fonts, exclusive features, discounts on licensed content like Disney. You have free shipping on Cricut.com on orders over $50, as well as 10% off anything that you purchase, as well as exclusive deals. So you can see down here, if you scroll down, the free plan, which comes with every Cricut machine, you have free access to your Cricut design space. If you guys want to up that and have access to all of those extra designs and files, you guys can, for example, you could sign up for the standard. You're going to get the unlimited 200 plus images, 500 plus fonts, the 10% that I talked about for $9.99 a month. Now, if you do sign up yearly, which is $95.88, it comes to $7.99 a month. Now you can upgrade this to the premium and you're going to get 20% off of all materials as well as free economy shipping over $50. To become a premium member, it is yearly only and it is $119.88 and it's $9.99 a month. With Cricut Design Space, you also have already made projects. So Cricut has provided us with tons and tons of projects for any sort of holiday or event. You can definitely narrow this down by coming to all categories. Say, for example, I'm looking for some Christmas projects. I can go to Christmas and then I can scroll through here. Now, what's really cool is, say, for example, let's scroll down until we see this right here. We can click on it. You can either A, customize it, and it's going to take it straight to your canvas so you can adjust the size, or you can take it straight to make it so you can create a project. You can save these projects and you can also heart them as well. You can even share them on Facebook, Pinterest, and copy the link to maybe send it in a text message. Cricut Design Space also has templates to make it a little bit easier for you to design your project. For example, if I was working on a t-shirt with a polo and I was doing a pocket, I could bring in this template here. You can also adjust your canvas here to change the size of your squares by clicking this blank square. So if you want to have a solid background, you could definitely do that. Another thing is you can come down here, click on your canvas and you can change the color. So say for example, I was working on a pink t-shirt or a black t-shirt, I could do that. So that way I can see what my design will look like. So let me go ahead and bring in an image so I can show you. I'm gonna change this to white. That way we can see it and then we are going to size it out. So as you guys can see, I could bring it on the t-shirt and figure out about what it would look like on a black t-shirt. So that's how you would use the templates. In Cricut Design Space, you can also personalize your very own projects. You can come to text and you can change your font right up here at the top. There is tons of font to choose from. Once again, you could go to filters and change that to your free only, or if you are an access member, you can definitely use those as well. So say for example, we're gonna click on this one right here, and then I would just come in here and type out. You can size it right here. And then you can also add an offset if you would like. Lots of different options whenever it comes to font. You can adjust that offset right here by going left to right to make it smaller or bigger. Once you're happy with it, you can hit apply. I can come to my font right over here and I can change the color by clicking on it and coming right over here to the color square and changing the color. With Cricut Design Space, you are able to save your projects for later. 
You can also access your projects right here, and then you can also change your machine right up here at the top. So say for example, today we are using the Cricut Maker 3, I would change it like so. So let's go ahead and make a project. So we're gonna come to the already made projects here. I'm gonna come to all categories and I'm gonna choose Christmas. From here, I'm gonna scroll down until I find the one I would like. Today I'm gonna to show you guys how to make this project right here. We're going to click on it. Now once again, you can click on customize and it's gonna take us straight to the canvas so we can adjust the sizes. Now today I'm gonna to go ahead and just hit make it. You can see this is a very beginner friendly project. It's going to take us less than 30 minutes and it's gonna tell us this is going to be four and a half by five inches. So this is gonna be perfect for a baby bodysuit, and then you can see what materials we're gonna need. We're gonna need white, red, and brown. I've already have those available and ready to go. So you can scroll through here and it's gonna give you all of your information you're gonna to need to make the project. So let's go ahead and hit make it. From here, since we are using the Cricut Maker 3, it's going to ask us if we want to cut without the mat, on the mat, or multiple ways. Today I'm going to show you guys how to do multiple ways. So I'm going to click on this and hit done. So our white is going to be with the smart materials. So I'm going to tell it we want it without the mat, and then we're going to mirror it. Whenever you're working with HTV, you always want to mirror. I'm going to need to cut a six inch piece so they are already 13 inches long, so I just need to cut out six inches to load into the machine, or you can use the Cricut roll holder to keep it on the roll. We're gonna to come to our next color here, which is this brown, and I'm actually going to cut this on the mat, so I'm gonna change this one here. So now you can see this is ready to load on the mat. I need a five by five piece of material, and I need to mirror this. For our next color here, I'm going to be using the Smart Material once again, so I am not going to need a mat. So all I need to do for this one as well is mirror. From here, we are ready to go. We're gonna hit continue. And as you guys can see, it is loading our machine. To choose your materials, you have favorites, popular, or you can simply browse for your material. For example, if you're using Smart Material, you can simply type out Smart, and you're gonna get all of your Smart Materials. To favorite an item so it stays on the front, you can click this little star here. Once it turns yellow, it's going to then be right here under your favorites tab. Then you can click on Smart Iron On. Once you've done this, it's gonna tell you to load your fine point blade and click on the up arrow to load your material. For today's materials, I am using this really pretty glitter smart iron on. What I love about Cricut's packaging is right over here on the side, you guys can visually see exactly what the material is going to look like as well as what it's going to feel like. So we are going to use this one right here as well as some everyday iron on. This one right here is called parchment. It's one of my favorites. So we're going to use this one here. We will also be using Cricut Smart Iron On in white. I've already tossed out my package, but what I like to do is use some of Cricut's heat tape to hold these together. So if you guys ever decide to toss out your packages, you can definitely use some of that heat tape to hold these together. All right, so let's start off with that white. We need to cut this down to the six inches. Once you have trimmed down your material, I'm going to put the shiny side down, and then I'm just going to load it right underneath our white feet. So I'm gonna gently hold this with one hand and hit the load button. So as you guys can see, we don't need a mat, it's just going to load it right inside of the machine. Once you see your flashing go button, you're just going to click it and it's gonna start cutting everything out. Once you're done, you're just gonna simply unload it and set it aside. For our next color, I'm going to load it once again, glossy side down. This time we are using the mat. We're gonna go ahead and load this once again under our white feet, hit the load button. We have our flashing go, we're gonna hit go. For our next material, I'm gonna use the Cricut roll holder. So what I'm gonna do is go ahead and load in my material, just like so. And then I'm going to feed this right underneath our um, you guys can see this here. We're going to feed this right underneath here, and then we're going to go right underneath our white feet. So to make sure this is sitting on here properly, you're going to place it on these guides, just like so. 
After that, we're going to slide this right under those white feet. And this has a built-in trimmer. So we're not wasting a ton of material. So what we're gonna do is, once again, I'm kind of holding here. You really don't need to because the roll holder holds it. And then you're gonna hit that load button. Now what's really cool is, Cricut has rolled these backwards so they're ready to load. So you don't have to really think about which way they go. Um, they have it ready to go for you. So what's, what's happening now is the Cricut is measuring to see how much material you have to make sure there's enough. Once you have your flashing again, we're gonna hit go. And just like that, we are ready to unload. What I like to do is I actually like to slide it back just a little bit and then you're gonna go from one side to the next with your trimmer and then you can just simply move this out of your way. We're ready to hit that unload button. And now what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna take a pair of scissors and cut off the excess so we can use it later. Now a question that I see all of the time is, can I use my Cricut Smart Material on a mat? Definitely feel free, you can use this on your mat at a later time. Now we are ready to weed out all of our pieces. So I'm simply just gonna go ahead and quickly speed through this. I'm gonna speed it up for you guys and weed everything out. For today's project, I have brought in a couple baby body suits to show you there is a lot of different ones out there. You could definitely pick these up locally at stores. You can buy these on Amazon, lots of different places to get these links. Now, I think I'm gonna go ahead and use this one right here. So what I need to do is bring in my smaller Cricut pad, and then I'm gonna be using my Cricut six by seven today. I already have it set at 315 for 30 seconds. And the way to find your temperature that you're going to need is you can go to Cricut Heat Guide. I'll have it linked down below. You can definitely save this to the front of your phone, and this is how you're gonna find all of your temperatures and times you're going to need for your materials and your blanks. The first step that we need to do is remove any sort of moisture and smooth everything out. So you wanna do this for around five seconds or so. All right, everything looks good. You wanna let this cool back down just a little bit because if I go to apply this right now and try to find out where it's gonna go, that adhesive will start to bond to our fabric. So what we need to do is figure out about where we want to place this. I'm gonna come down around two fingers or so, and then we just kind of want to kind of eyeball here to where our design is gonna go. We are ready to press. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to hold this down. We're going to apply our first layer. Now we are adding three layers here, so I'm gonna go ahead and just hold this down for around five to 10 seconds and then we are going to be ready to peel this off. So you wanna let it just cool for just a second because this is not completely adhered. So we're gonna very gently start to peel off this top layer. Since we have three layers, you definitely don't want to press this for the full 30 seconds on each layer because you're going to overheat it. You could definitely let this cool completely down after that five to 10 seconds to prevent any sort of peeling up. All right, so we are going to add in our next layer here, which is going to be our white. So we're just going to line everything up. And as you guys can see, our little buddy is starting to come together. Now you wanna make sure that everything is covered here with this piece. And we're going to go right back on top for around another five to 10 seconds. Once again, we're gonna go ahead and peel this around a warm pill it just like so. To use the Cricut heat guide, you guys can do this right here from your phone. You're going to choose your press. I've got mine, which is the Cricut Easy Press 2. I'm gonna choose my material, which is going to be the glitter iron-on. I'm gonna choose this one. And then for my base material, this is 100% cotton, so I'm gonna choose this here. We're gonna tell it we are using the Cricut Easy Press Matte, and I'm gonna hit apply. It's gonna tell me I need a temperature of 330, and it's gonna be 30 seconds. You can continue to scroll through here for your supplies you're gonna need, prep, and all of those things. So the heat guide is definitely very handy. So we need to bump our Cricut up, so we're gonna hit the uh, temp here, and we're just gonna up it to 330. While we wait for this to warm up, we can start to figure out about where our material is going to go, which is right about here. Now, as you guys can see here, I've got material on the outside of this top layer. 
what we can do is come back in with one of our carrier sheets we just used from another layer. So we're gonna go right back on top now for the full 30 seconds. So I'm giving it a little bit of pressure here. All right, we're gonna go ahead and move this over. I'm gonna go ahead and peel off that first carrier sheet. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and peel off our last carrier sheet here. Now Cricut does recommend that you flip your garment over and you press from the back side one last time for 15 seconds. So we're gonna press again at that full 330 for 15 seconds. All right, just like that. As you guys can see here, how easy it was to use Cricut Design Space with your Cricut. This was a perfect beginner friendly project already made for you. Now what's really cool is you can go back inside of Cricut Design Space and you could personalize this. So instead of hitting make it, you could have hit customize, went to the font area and added a text and you could have put a name on here. For example, I could have added Sarah, you know, I could have had it go across the side here, maybe across the top, whatever you would like. You definitely could also go down the side here, lots of different options. So you can personalize this as much or as little as you guys would like, and you guys can see how easy that was to create our very own project. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. I hope you guys found it helpful. If you did, please hit the like button down below and subscribe, and I'll see you guys on the next one.